Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. Well, this last summer when I first started my whole series about the uh, frequently asked questions, most of the videos being rather short ones, but where I could answer questions directly just real quickly in most cases, one of the videos I did was about recycling bottles and jars and that got a lot more questions on how do you remove the labels on the recycled bottles and jar. The way that you remove the labels is going to depend on exactly what kind of labels they are because each bottle and each jar, each company is going to have a different type of label, a different type of glue or whatever that they're using. And in most cases, such as with the recycled sparkling cider bottles, I'm, uh, I have a lot of people that donate these to me because they know I use these quite a bit. And these ones, that have just a simple paper and glue type label those can usually just be soaked so when i'm going to go do dishes then a lot of times i'll stick those in there in the hot soapy water and just let them soak once they've soaked for a while that will loosen up the glue and make it a lot easier to get the paper off of there it's still going to come off in pieces or clumps but it should come off pretty easy and then what i do in that case to to get the rest of it off is I simply take a paint scraper like this. This stays in my kitchen because it has many uses. This never gets actually this one never gets used for paint. And then I just scrape the rest of the label off this way. And then any glue that remains on these kind I can usually just scrub off with a stainless steel scrubber like these. So if you don't have a stainless steel make make sure it's stainless steel these ones will last for a very long time they'll get smaller and smaller over time but they do last for gosh a long time so i stock up on these they're a decent price you just want to make sure you're actually getting the stainless steel ones and these particular ones i actually found in our the hardware section of our one main store in the cleaning supplies rather than in the in the grocery side so if you have a if, if you're like us and you just have one big store that's divided up in sections you might find this better in a hardware section or even in whatever your local hardware store is but anyway i can just simply scrub off the rest of that using a stainless steel scrubber and that will apply to quite a bit now i'm going to show you a few other bottles and jars that i use that I recycle. As you can see here, I've got maple syrup bottles that I use for, for extracts, whether they be for flavoring or for medicinal. I've got recycled green olive jars that I've been using now for vacuum sealing, walnuts, and in this case, the pistachios. And with that, if you're curious how I do that, I use the vacuum chamber to do that because obviously the food saver tops won't fit on those. And those labels are pretty simple to get off but a couple other examples would be like the honey the raw honey jar that i'm recycling here to use to make a pumpkin pie extract and i i will have a video on that i don't know if it will publish before or after this one but if it's before i'll make sure i link to that down below a uh, recycled horseradish bottle that i use for storing my homemade vitamin or pain reliever capsules which was what these are and of course there's the avocado oil bottles i use these quite a bit now this one I've removed the label from, but at least I, re I left the sticky part on this so I could demonstrate how another way you can get this off, especially if your scrubber and just soap and water doesn't work. There's a couple other methods you can use I'll get to in a minute. But first, let's talk about when it comes to these kind of labels. So uh, I, li I actually prefer the labels like that come on the green olive jars or on the avocado bottles you can see they come off in one piece to me they're the easiest ones to clean up when they're kind of a plastic type kind you can usually just once you pry up a corner like this you can just peel the whole label off and then the only thing you have to worry about are the glues that are left behind which in this case i only got a spot here and a spot here this kind of glue i found does not come off as easy it wants to smear when you just use soap and water and stainless steel so when you're talking about this kind of glue there's a couple different ways that you can deal with that now one way a lot of people might know about is get is some goo gone goo gone is great for removing tar and anything really really sticky however there's a much cheaper way that you can do this. Again, the same thing applies to essential oils. Some people will like to use citrus or other types of essential oils 
to remove that glue but I don't do that because my essential oils they're a lot more expensive than the method I'm going to show you and so I'm going to reserve those for the other things like my soap making lip balm making and all the other many things I use essential oils for really when it comes to removing anything very sticky just remember especially if you're a lady you might remember when you're a little girl if you got gum stuck in your hair what was the most common way used to get it out it was butter peanut butter or some kind of fat and that was how they were able to get the gum removed from the hair the same thing applies to your your glue on your bottles so all you have to do i'm going to use some avocado oil to remove the glue that's on the avocado oil bottle now really any kind of oil will do as long as it's you can use butter you can use uh, coconut oil it doesn't matter you just pour a little bit on there whoops I'm kind of out of the picture again sorry about that and then you rub it in now this particular glue is just a little more stubborn than that sometimes even just leaving the oil on it can be enough to take it off but I do say rub it in now another thing you can do if it's extra stubborn is take a little baking soda and sprinkle that over the top of the oil and this should work just as well just as good as your goo gone and then rub that in again I recommend letting it sit for a few minutes and then coming back to it because that oil is going to work really well to loosen up that glue it's it's a solvent when it comes to something like this so you can leave it and come back to it or you can just keep working on it like this you can even at this point take your stainless steel scrubber with this yes the scrubber will, will work quite well to remove that glue I finished scrubbing I'm finding some more little spots here there's probably some more along the bottle I might miss but that's okay I can always come back and repeat the process so let me go over the sink I'm gonna rinse this off and then I'll come back and show you and then obviously if there's any oil left when you're done doing that and rinsing it off then just clean the oil that you use to clean off the glue clean that off with soap and water but this is actually quite clean so I don't know if you can see but that all that glue came off very easily so and there's some more on this side I didn't do this side I think there it looks like there's some more over here on this other side this side should be clean because it's the one side that doesn't have a have the label on it and so anyway that works that works really really well okay and that's the cheapest way you're gonna go with just a whatever oil you have out on hand and some baking soda and then if you're wondering some of the other many uses I use recycled bottles for then I will go ahead and link down below in the description box to that video I did on recycling bottles and jars and real quick quickly the number one thing I use these ones for is storing my finished meads and homemade wines and the ones like these I use for storing my colloidal silver so there's just a couple of ideas I give a few more ideas in that video so you can check that out if you're curious but at this point where we're looking at the need for I mean especially when you're talking jars like this that you can vacuum seal things in be recycling these jars so that you can save those precious canning jars right now because they're hard to find or they're really expensive for canning and then start vacuum sealing things you know especially if you have a vacuum chamber like the ones that Patrick's been making and selling on our Etsy store you can seal any jar that you can fit in there as long as you have the original lid and and the lids not damaged so that's just been a real great thing for me to use so now I can recycle these jars for for that kind of stuff as well and when I shot that video about the bottles and jars we didn't he didn't have those made yet so I was just using these jars for other things okay well I hope this you found this video helpful and go ahead and share your tips and ideas down below on how you remove labels from your bottles and jars all right well thanks for watching take care and God bless.